All right, so it says given x squared plus 8x minus 8y plus 24 equals 0. Find the standard form of the equation, graph the parabola, identify the vertex focus, equation of the directrix, equation of the axis of symmetry. First off, this equation does not look like standard form. So before I even got to this, these words here that says graph the parabola, if it doesn't tell me to graph the parabola, if it just says put it in standard form, it doesn't tell me what type of thing it is. Um, the thing that tells me it's a parabola as opposed to a circle. Right? A circle would have x squared and y squared. Right? A parabola only has x squared and then it has no y squared. So x squared it may or may not have x to the first power, but it's going to have x to the second power and y to the first power. If you see that, the maximum power of x is 2, the maximum power of y is 1, you're looking at a parabola. Okay? For future reference, if you have a maximum power of y of 2 and a maximum power of x of 1, that's also a parabola, it just goes left and right. So if y is squared instead of x, it goes this way instead of that way. So just keep that in mind. But again, for the sake of this book alone, everything's up and down. So x should be squared. If y isn't, you're looking at a parabola. Once again, it says find the standard form. I want to see what standard form looks like because, again, it's going to be about me taking algebra, using algebra to transform this into standard form. So it looks like this. x minus h parentheses squared equals 4p parentheses y minus k. That's what I'm trying to make this thing look like, and currently it does not look like that. Okay. So here's how you make it look like that. First thing you want to do is x is on one side, y is on the other side. So do some separation. Everything x goes on the left, everything y goes on the right. And if it's a number, it goes on the right as well. So I'm just as a little separation here. I'm going to move these two guys to the right because they don't have x's. I'm going to keep these two guys on the left because they do have x's. So, we got x squared plus 8x, I'm going to leave a little bit of space, equals. I'm moving 8y to the right, so negative 8y becomes positive because it moves across the equal sign. Positive 24 becomes negative because it moves across the equal sign. Priority one is to do that. x is on the left, everything not x on the right. Priority two, complete the square, the same way we did it in circle problems. We only have one perfect square trinomial to make this time because we only have one parentheses squared. So we want to take half of eight, which is? Four. And four squared is? Sixteen. 16. It's the same thing we did last chapter with circles. So plus 16 here, which requires plus 16 over here. Now I want to factor this side, so I want to get my parentheses squared. And again, remember, there's three pieces here. We have a letter and a sign and a number. The letter comes from the letter, the first term. The sign comes from the second term. And the number comes from the square root of the third term. What's the letter? What's the sign? What's the square root? All right? That's how we factor every time, parentheses squared. So all of a sudden, we have our left side perfectly done. Right? We have a parentheses squared for the sake of standard form. On the right-hand side, we have 8y minus 8. I just combined negative 24 and 16, simplified like terms. So at this point, the left-hand side is exactly what it's supposed to be. The right-hand side, once we've gotten to this point, the only thing we've got to fix on the right-hand side is this. This parentheses, if you pay close attention to it, very clearly shows you that this letter is just y. It's not 2y or 3y or 17y or negative 45y. It's just y. So that means that this needs to be just y, which means anything attached to the y needs to be pulled out as a common factor, even if it makes ugly things happen. So I don't care what this number is. I care what that number is. Whatever that number is, I put a parentheses in front of it, eight parentheses, and then I divide each term by it. 8y divided by 8 is 1y, which is what we wanted. 8 divided by 8 minus 8 divided by 8 is minus 1. If this said minus 9, now it's minus 9 eighths, which is 1.125. Again, we're graphing some decimals. If this said 17, now it's 17 eighths, 1.875. Right, I don't care what this number is, I just need this to be y. So whatever that number is, pull it out, divide this and this by it, Hopefully, most of your problems are going to be friendly like this. 8 divided by 8 is 1. Maybe it's 16 divided by 8 is 2, right? That would be something friendly, but it doesn't have to be. Right? 
So that's how we make this side the right look. Again, I don't care what this number is. This number is whatever it is. You pull it out, it is what it is. This has to be Y. That's your key. All right? So this side is now correct. This side is still X plus 4 squared. And now we have our standard form. And our standard form tells us everything we need to know to find the vertex information, right? We're going to identify, graph the parabola, identify all the stuff. So the vertex. We got our x number and our y number, but again, the numbers in the in the standard form are the opposite sign of what they should be. So x is paired with positive 4, so x is negative 4. y is paired with negative 1, so y is positive 1. Negative 4, 1 is my vertex. Okay. I can see that 4p equals 8, because again, 4p is right here, whatever's in front of that. So 4p equals 8, which means p equals 2. In addition, 4p is a positive 8, so p is positive 2, which tells me this is an up parabola. I'm going to go up to get the focus. I'm going to have to go down to get the directrix. So I'm going to go up 2 for my focus. I'm going to go down 2 for my directrix. And I can see very clearly, this is positive 1. If I go down 2, I get to negative 1. So this is my directrix right here. Finally, I need those two extra points. And the two extra points are going to be eight spaces across at the focus. So my focus is the black dot. I need to go eight spaces across. So that means four spaces to the right and four spaces to the left. So from here to here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So again, you need a focus, a vertex, and those two points on either side of the focus. And once you get those three dots drawn, you create your nice looking parabola here. And just extend the line a little bit with the arrows. And there's your parabola. And finally, we throw an axis of symmetry in just right through the focus and vertex. Just put a dashed vertical line. And then we have to identify all this stuff. So vertex is four, negative 4, 1. The focus is 2 up from there. So it's negative 4, 3. The directrix equation is y equals a number. The axis of symmetry equation is x equals a number. The y equals is where the height of this is. So this is the x-axis. We go down 1. That's y equals negative 1. The axis of symmetry goes through the focus and the vertex. x equals the number they have in their coordinates. So x equals negative 4. There's my vertex. There's my focus directory axis of symmetry. My graph. My standard form. But it also said find the standard form. There you go. Take that circle out of it. So, find the standard form done. Graph the parabola done. Identify vertex, focus, directrix, axis, symmetry done. So, if you start in general form, that's what this is. Make standard form, then you find all your stuff. If you start in standard form, graph it and configure it.